So I was wanting to find out what the value of this inductor is, but when I put it in my little tester here, it uh, doesn't like it. It just tells me that it's a resistor. So we see that this tells us that it's a 20.1 ohm resistor. doesn't tell us anything about the inductance. These two inductors here have stripes on them, much like a resistor has. So you can uh, get a pretty good idea of what their value is. But this one I don't know. So I'm going to have to figure out something else to do, and I've come up with a little circuit. And I'll show you how we're going to test for the value of this inductor and get quite close. So here's our little test circuit. Here's the inductor that I was trying to measure. This right here is a uh, 10 nanofarad, a 0 0.01 microfarad, same thing, capacitor, 1% tolerance. And this is a 1K resistor. Um, this is not critical. You could have a little bit smaller, a little bigger, wouldn't make a lot of difference. These are, this is our signal coming in, our, our test sine wave coming in. And this goes out to the scope. And here's a schematic of the circuit itself. So we've got the adjustable sine wave generator here. Um, its frequency accuracy uh, is basically known to uh, a hundredth of a percent. Um, the capacitor that we have in here that we're going to be using as our half of our tuned circuit here is 1%. So, and I'm, I'm, I'm confident in that. I've, I've measured that, etc. I've had experience with it, so I'm confident in that. It's the unknown inductor here that I, I really don't know what the value of this thing is. There's nothing on here, no coloring, no labeling of any sort. So it's, uh, it's pretty much a guess. And uh, we're going to go and use uh, scope channel 1, the yellow trace here, and have a look at this. And here's what we can expect, uh, or here's, what, here's the way it's going to operate. As, our free, as we run our frequency back and forth here, the voltage that appears across this inductor is going to go up or down depending on where it is in this tune, where, where, we, where we find ourselves. And um, so we're going to be measuring the voltage across this inductor capacitor pair. The inductor capacitor pair is what we're measuring the voltage across. And the frequency is uh, being adjusted on our sine wave generator. So let's go and have a look on the scope and uh, see how that looks for us. So you can see our situation on the scope here. The generator is putting out this frequency up here at right now 10.8 kilohertz. And the voltage across that inductor right now is 174 millivolts. Uh, as I go up here to the knob to adjust the frequency output, if I go down, we'll see that our I'm going in the wrong direction because our voltage here is going down. We want our voltage to go up. Um, and as we, as we increase our frequency here, we will see that our voltage is increasing across that inductor. It will eventually reach a peak and then uh, start going down the other side of that curve and decreasing again. So we're going to try and peak this value right here. So uh, I keep cranking this up and it will eventually go past a spot uh, depending on where what value it is. And there it's taken a fairly big jump in the frequency because I turned the knob a little too quick. And if we come back a bit, so we're in the ballpark. Where's 33? 863, if I keep going down in frequency, 861, and then you just basically, this is what you have to do, is go back and forth a few times. Oh, now we're, we're getting really close. Uh, so, there's, so here's 8, 881, 882, 882, and now it's going down again. So there we are pretty close. I saw 884, so I'll tune it back and see if we can get that. We now see that our frequency is at 31.5 kilohertz. So th that's our peak right here is 884 millivolts. We're not too concerned about what this actual number is. We just wanted to know what the maximum is. Because we could change that 1K resistor and that number would change whatever value we picked. This, the 1K resistor was just a convenient value. So we were just simply looking for the maximum of this. And what we're trying to find out is this frequency right here, the 31.5K. So we'll throw that into our uh, formula, basically, and that'll tell us what size of inductor we have. 
So here's the formula that we're going to use to find out the size of our inductor. We now have all the unknowns figured out that we need to fill this formula in. We found that our frequency was 31,500 Hertz. That's our F right here. We know our capacitor size because we chose it. That's our 10 nanofarad right here, 1%. So we have all the things that we need to fill this out. So we put our 31,500 here and we put our capacitor size down here in in farads which is this number here now I've just written this out so you know you can use exponents if you want to but uh, you know if this is a number the way you want to do it that's just fine too it all works in the long run because as we do all this and uh, do this on our calculator we find out that we end up with a 2.56 millihenry inductor here so now I know what that value is